Will Jack Randall unexpectedly return for season 6? Why might we never see Lord John Gray again? And who had to leave the show because of his looks? Hi, I'm Claire. Let's get started. The main villain's return? Claire's first husband, Frank Randall, and the main antagonist, Captain Jack Randall, portrayed by the same actor, both found their end in season 3. Tobias Menzies' character, Frank, first dies in a car accident, and then on the battlefield as Jack. We can't leave out the fact that his performance was brilliant. He absolutely succeeded in creating Jack Randall as a character that triggered immediate hate and disgust in every single viewer. No wonder fans were upset by his exit. Speaking about his time on Outlander to The Hollywood Reporter, Menzi said, I worked hard on both of these characters. It was a challenge to make them different, but in a subtle way so it wasn't too obvious. I hope that it worked, but one can never really know. Interesting fact, Jack Randall's finale scene and last fight with Jamie was mostly improvised by the actor and was not initially scripted that way. And even though the captain's death was highly preferable for the good of our beloved characters, most fans were still pretty upset about Tobias leaving. Menzies has made brief returns to the series in flashbacks, but hasn't made a comeback full-time. Meanwhile, he has appeared in numerous shows and movies, including The Crown. Unfortunately, Tobias never gave reason as to why he left the show. So we assume there was no extra drama, and the script was just written that way. As far as we know, his characters won't return in the book or series. That aside, Menzies has said he would be open to returning. Talking to Town & Country magazine, Menzies said, there's no plans for it, I guess in a show that involves time travel, you can never say never. As most of the fans said, even if it is just in a flashback scene, they'd be happy to see his character Frank return in Outlander Season 6. However, absolutely nobody wants the bastard Jack to be brought back on screen again, even as a memory. The Most Anticipated Farewell well, Jack Randall was obviously not the only villain everyone wanted dead, so I bet all the viewers were happy to finally exhale in relief when Stephen Bonnet finally faced trial for his crimes and was shot by Brianna. According to Ed Spilliers, who portrayed Bonnet, it was not his decision to leave the Stars series. Speaking to TV Line, he recalled being on vacation with his kids on the beach in Majorca when he received a phone call saying, we need to get you in for certain tests and things, makeup tests. Tests. I was pretty pissed off. I'm not going to lie. I was like, what's this about? You have a bullet wound to your head. I said, what bullet wound to my head? Am I surviving this? I then got a script, and I obviously wasn't. However, to some extent, his character was always bound to die in the TV version of the books. In the sixth book, A Breath of Snow and Ashes, Bonnet faces the same fate, with Brianna shooting him because she knows of his fear of drowning. Spillier said that since a villain such as Stephen Bonnet doesn't make it in the books, there's no way he is going to make it in the TV series. He mentioned that deep down, he knew his end was going to come at some point. Saying goodbye to the show, Spilliers posted on Instagram, announcing the last episodes of Outlander Season 5, and wrote, No idea if Stephen Bonnet is in it or not. If I was a betting man, I'd say he wasn't. But then, I've always been a useless gambler. Do let me know if he ends up being on the telly this weekend. The sad thing is, Bonnet is not the only one to have recently left the show. Another character also met his fate in the season 5 finale. A second chance for Duncan LeCoy? While some of the storylines came to an end pretty fast, one character had his life significantly prolonged on screen by the production crew. Murda did manage to survive the events that killed him in the book, but season 5 saw him lose his life at the Battle of Alamance. Let me explain. In the books, Murda died in Scotland decades earlier, but the show resurrected him for a compelling storyline set in the Americas, even though most of the fans knew that he already should have died a long time ago. Social media reacted to his death with overwhelming grief. Duncan LaCroix shared, Even though we went against Diana's books and kept him alive, we kept the essence of his death and just postponed it. The Scot died in Jamie's arms, his last words exactly the same as in the book. Don't be afraid of Alec. Don't 
doesn't hurt a bit to die. The Ballad of Roger Mack became the last episode for Murda and was incredibly tough for viewers and the actors. At the time, LaCroix wrote on Instagram, well, those of you who have seen episode 7 know that it's the fondest of fond farewells for yours truly and this guy. My time on Outlander has been magical, and I'll miss mixing it up with the cast and crew. Duncan also shared that the hardest part for him was not even the need to leave the show itself, but the process of getting through the post-death scenes. They had to retake them a couple of times until the actor finally pulled himself together. I got really emotional that day for some reason. I didn't expect to. It was just that scene. Saying goodbye to this guy that I've inhabited for six years, he shared. Speaking to Collider about his exit, actor Duncan LaCroix revealed that he was told about his character being killed off before work started on the fifth season. Duncan said he was surprised to find out just before the beginning of the season, because he was optioned for six seasons. But showrunners dropped the bomb on him before they started filming the season. Some viewers had also speculated before season five how Murda would take over another character's storyline in the show, Duncan Inez. However, showrunner Matthew Roberts revealed to Vanity Fair how this was never on the table for Murda. Our fans love to speculate. They assumed Murda would just take over the Duncan Inez story. But you can't just take a character like Duncan Inez with all his character traits and turn him into a character we already know. We never even discussed that, he explained. Although fans are still holding on to some hope, especially after the latest episode brought back another familiar face, as Graham McTavish returned to play Buck McKenzie in the season 5 finale. Therefore, a return for LaCroix in some form does not seem out of the question. You can never say never in the Outlander universe, and fans will certainly be hoping to see the much-loved star involved again. However, the actor laughed the suggestion off, adding, I don't know about that, so I guess we can only hope. Outrageous exit. No more, Lord John? One more outrageous exit after season 5 made fans hope that it was a joke or an unfortunate misunderstanding. It feels like just yesterday that Outlander fan favorite Lord John Gray appeared on the show. David Barry has been a part of Star's Outlander since 2016, but unfortunately, it seems like his time has ended on the series, at least for now. The actor confirmed his exit from Outlander in a post, mentioning that he doesn't like goodbyes, tears, or sighs. At first, it seemed as if perhaps he was simply saying goodbye to the recent season of the series, since his character is leaving on the show to head back to England. However, fans started going crazy asking what exactly he meant, and the actor responded to some of those questions, seemingly confirming a more long-term goodbye for the character. In fact, when a fan asked if he meant goodbye for this season, he elaborated, noting, final episode on show, but life is long, perhaps someday. But fans are not really sure how this whole thing is going to work out. On one hand, the Outlander series creators have made plenty of notable changes from the books before, but there are still a few large plots Lord John Gray is a part of in Diana's next books. On the other hand, during what now looks to be Lord John Gray's final episode, the character spoke with Jamie about returning to England, which would be an easy way for the character to exit. And yet, Lord John Gray's a very popular character in the universe. He's so popular with fans that Diana Gabaldon wrote a whole series of spin-off novellas about the character. Over time, there have been rumors about a spin-off series and more. So fans basically can't imagine that the script writers would simply want to cut out the character like that without giving his storyline a decent end. The actor who outgrew his role. So, a lot of actors apparently left Outlander because their character's storyline came to a logical end. But this boy had to leave the show even though his story wasn't over. His character basically grew up, so the actor's appearance wasn't a proper fit for the role anymore. Any idea who that might be? Let me give you a hint. Fans' all-time favorite, curly-headed, blue-eyed, charming French boy. Did you really not see that she had been crying? I saw no crying. That's why you will die with love of poignet. Alone with your hand. <laughs> Yes, our beloved Fergus still continues his story in the following seasons. 
However, Roman Beru, aka the small version of Fergus Freezer, had to leave after starring in a second and third seasons because of his age. It was Roman's first English speaking role, and his performance was really impressive. But in the story, Fergus grew up, so he had to be replaced in the role by French actor César Domboy, who currently portrays the adult version of the character. The audience, as well as the whole cast, was extremely upset with having to say goodbye to Roman. Even though he left the show amicably, a huge mystery appeared after his departure. After wrapping up the last episode, fellow stars Katrina Belf and Sam Hewen gave him a special present, which was revealed on social media a couple of months later. Roman posted an image of himself wearing the kilt on Twitter and said, A promise made is a promise kept. I received a kilt, my dream, from Katrina Belf and Sam Hewen. I am so proud. The Irish actress was quick to reply, claiming that he wore the kilt better than Scottish hunk Sam Hewen. Katrina said, You wear it better than the big red one. Sam immediately supported the joke and wrote, Looking good, my man. Where is it well for a very small person? Well, even though it's pretty sad we won't see this talented lad on Outlander anymore, we couldn't be happier about him having a great relationship with his co stars. Surprise! In case you've been sleeping for too long, Roman is currently almost 20 years old and he is successfully developing his career. Kids grow up so fast, don't they? If you enjoyed this video, go watch Outlander's behind the scenes secrets revealed on our channel. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and as always, stay awesome.